Okay, we're going to finish up this portrait with the ears and the hair. Now the ears, um, if you took a rubber band and you stretched it from one ear to the other, top of the other ear, it's going to interrupt the face right or above the eyes, like right there. And, and the bottom of the nose is going to be the like almost the tip of the nose. Now this changes depending on your angle of your head. If you tilt your head up a little bit or down a little bit, those, those ears are going to go up and down. But they're basically that size. Um, now that looks huge. And if you draw the ears like regular ears out here like this, they're going to just really stick out and be crazy. Um, so a couple things that I want you to notice about your ears. We're doing the ears from the side. So they're almost flat at this level. So they start, and I always start on the head. I don't start way over here. I start on the head, and I go up to it, and then I come down, and then they go in a little bit, and then they come out. Don't forget the loops of the ears. And, uh, and you maybe go up or maybe connected. We're all a little different there. And uh, there's, there's quite a variety in ears. So if you get the right size and don't make it too wide like that, um, you're going to be doing pretty good. Now there's a little wrinkle right here on the ears. Some, some people have like a part that kind of comes out like this. And there's a, um, I wish I knew the name of that the little thing that sticks out. I call it the wind barrier there. Stops the wind from going back into your ears. And sometimes I shade that part a little bit or shade the bottom of this. Um, and uh, those who are keeping up with shading, uh, your eyes have a little bit underneath there. Um, there's, there's some right here to, for the, the cheek uh, to go around and maybe even a little bit on the sides. And I might, I might do a little bit of that while you guys watch uh, the movie on um, the, the ears here. some detailed observation. There are several twists and turns that form the structure. The simplified shapes look like this. One large oval for the main part, another smaller oval for the inner area, then a small circle for the earlobe. To complete the basic shapes, Add a little circle to the very inside of the ear opening. And that's great! Ears were designed for capturing sounds in the ear. We're going to do this one over here. So you think of a cup as being circular when you look down on it, but rectangular when you look in, like on the edge. We're thinking more of the edge. So think of them as small cups poking out from your head. Does that make any sense? Let's go ahead and watch uh, Doodle's hair, and then um, I'll give you a chance. I'll show you what I do with hair. The hair! Doodle knows a lot about art, but when it comes to hair, he takes a backseat to me. You have to look at hair as a shape. Hair has mass and direction, or flow. The strands form sections that come together to make up the whole. Doodle, if you would sketch some quick head shapes, I'll come behind you and block out some basic hair shapes so everyone can see how easy and fun it is to do hair. People have all different kinds of hairstyles, from long and straight to short and curly. Can you draw them all? All right. I hope the sound wasn't too bad on that. Um, all right. So I'm going to think about, and what I like about her, about the flow of hair, uh, is really good. Um, and I, what I'm going to do is maybe do some guy hairs and girl hair on this. And right now, believe it or not, this could be could be either um, a, a guy or a girl. Sometimes people tell me it looks more girl-like at this point in my drawing. Um, but uh, unless you're bald like me, um, your hair is going to start here and come down here like this. And all of this, I think of a doll that you cut the, the hair off of. Uh, and you can see this sort of almost like um, bathing cap shape on there where the hair comes out. Um, all of your hair starts to grow that way. It's just a matter of how long you make it. Um, some of the boys in my class are going to have short hair like this. And so if your hair is only a little bit long, you're going to draw it like that. Um, maybe it's longer. Maybe it comes down and it starts at the top of your head and it touches your eyebrow. A little Justin Bieber kind of way there. Um, we're going to come around here like this. Um, and here's a couple things that people forget. 
is that even girls have hair that comes down to the edge of their ear. Like your hair grows all the way down to the edge of your ear, ear like that. Uh, some boys' haircuts will, like might bring that a little lower. Your hair goes on the outside of your head. It comes off your head. So don't be afraid to come way out here like this, okay, and off of your head. Once you do that, the ears don't look so big anymore. You know, a lot of you are like, oh, my ears are not that big, Mr. Lang. You don't understand. Well, yeah, I do understand. They, when you get that hair on there, um, it's going to make more sense. And, of course, a lot of you, your hair will cover up uh, your ears. And you only have to draw your ears on a, on a um, self-portrait. Um, girls that have no bangs, your hair is going to come down here like this and go behind that. And once again, if you have a part here, a part in the middle, or a part in the side, you can see that part. So draw that in there. And then um, your hair is going to come off your head like this. It, it, it comes almost a whole ear length beyond your, your hair at, at many times. So you want to draw it like that. I think the hardest hair to draw is probably blonde hair because you have to be real light with that. Um, you know, sometimes if you got curly hair, you might do that to it. Um, I'll put girls' hair on this side too. Sometimes some of you girls, you know, your hair comes off like this, and you draw it coming down, and maybe even off the page. Um, but what you want to do is uh, behind your head. This is going to be dark because there is hair back there, so all that's a shadow inside your uh, your head like that. So I'll make that dark, and maybe make the lines here like this. Um, and I just really basically think about if I was combing this person's hair, what direction would I go? If your hair goes back, if you've got a back and a ponytail, draw it back like that. Um, some people do ponytails, they put it on the side so that, you know, you can see it and it, it doesn't look weird to be, because otherwise you look kind of bald. Uh, so if your hair is back, draw it back. If it's down, draw it down. If it's dark, draw it dark. Don't forget that there are highlights to your hair that the, the light reflects on them. So often I'll, I'll even a dark person's hair, I might do dark here, I might do dark at the end, but I leave a little little white space, sometimes even with my eraser, um, bringing that out. Um, but go ahead, and, and that's when you really look at the person to try to get um, the character of their face, because I think the hair is one of the most descriptive things that tells who we are. So thank you for listening on How to Draw a Face, and uh, good luck.